Hello, my name is Faye Tugard and I'm a designer and I live in London and outside of London as well in the countryside in Hampshire in England. My studio um, I set up I think it's just over 10 years ago now and when I set it up it was really out of a desire to work on three-dimensional spaces and um, objects and I'd been working in magazines and I decided that I'd become very frustrated with the two-dimensional page. And it was really me on the kitchen table and slowly grew to the misfits. I call them the misfits, people that have come from different genres. That could be sculpture, fine art, fashion, graphic design, architecture, all coming under one roof, under one umbrella to work on projects that are space, clothing and furniture. I think throughout my work I've always tried to explore multiple elements. I've been described as a multidisciplinary designer and I've always tried to avoid that stamp, that label, that pigeonhole. But I think for me the NGV is a culmination of many years of work and the only way I can kind of describe it is for me a t it's a total work. It, it's, it's involving everything that I'm passionate about from textiles, to furniture, to objects, to scenography, painting and sculpture and it really is the first time that I have brought together all of those elements under one work and one project. I'm so excited about the presentation at the NGV. Um, it's quite a complex installation for me, probably the most ambitious that we've ever done. It's um, based around the Triennale's theme of light and really I got very passionate very quickly when I heard the brief about light. I mean, I, I think I use light without making any lighting in my work a lot. And it was really exploring the absence of light, um, darkness, shadows, the chiaroscuro, um, and investigating that absence of light more than, more than actual light. I wanted to create almost sort of domestic intimate settings exploring light. So the first room is daylight and exploring the clarity and the brightness of daylight. And the second room is based around candlelight. So the light drops and the experience there is more, more intense. And the third is on moonlight. And really I've been so lucky, I've been able to delve into the archive and combine the archive pieces with my own work to explore that narrative. I think the key ideas that informed the presentation that I've worked on, besides light, has actually been enlightenment, family, um, there's, a, there's, there's, a, there's, a, there's an intimacy that I've really looked for within the work. So I explored a lot of the domestic interiors of the time, the 17th century domestic interiors, the Flemish interiors, the intimacy that you have within those spaces, the colours, and then obviously looking at the work itself, all of the pieces from the archive, I've really explored the combinations of still lives, looking at life and death, and sometimes within those floral still lives there will be things that, flowers that shouldn't have been next to one another, an impossible creation um, where some should be alive and some should be dead portraits, lots of portraits within the space and, and landscapes. And so I've created within the candlelight room a series of family busts. And so the whole thing is almost a kind of a tableau, a response to a response to the to the period, to the to the works of art of that time, but also an autobiographical take from my perspective on my work and also my family busts. Working on the exhibition and working with the pieces, I found that there were really relevant themes for me and I think for the contemporary society at the moment. I've grown up as an artist and designer uh, over the last 10-15 years working in a fairly male-dominated environment. Certainly, you know, 15 years ago when I started making furniture, it was a very male-dominated um, environment. And for me to have this exhibition where I'm showing my furniture and the paintings and the sculptures and the tapestries at this level next to some of the most heavyweight male artists you know, of our lifetime is, is, is incredibly exciting and enlightening for me and I think 
for female artists. This is really an important, you know, an important time.